Hi friends, I'm Jasmine. These are my go-to meals that I eat within a day. The super posh Beverly Hills mansion of Jasmine Johnson from the series Married to Medicine LA had come up on the market last year for $9.5 million. However, it wasn't reported that she and her psychiatrist hubby ever ended up getting a sale on the place. Aside from this super glam, nearly 10,000 square foot abode, the Johnsons also maintain another contemporary property above the Sunset Strip, which they apparently rent out. We're gonna take a look at the couple's estates, and if you watch the series, they may even look familiar. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jasmine Johnson is best known for being a cast member on the Bravo reality series Married to Medicine Los Angeles, a show that centers around the highly dramatic relationships between rich and successful women. She lives with her husband, Santa Monica-based psychiatrist, Dr. Gadsden Johnson, who's never appeared on the show, and their son. Jasmine is not only a doctor's wife and reality TV persona, the energetic and outgoing star is also an entrepreneur, fitness lifestyle influencer, and former bikini fitness competitor. The Johnsons are pretty quiet about their net worth despite showing off their over-the-top lifestyle and taste. Jasmine and her husband live a life of luxury and while we don't know their current earnings, it was clearly enough to purchase a couple of multi-million dollar homes. In fact, their opulent mansion has often been a hot topic on Married to Medicine with co-star Dr. Amani Walker calling Jasmine out and saying there's no way the family could afford their home and lifestyle. Hey, Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out the lavish pads of Married to Medicine star Jasmine Johnson. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. We're gonna jump right in and start off with the beautiful mansion Jasmine and her husband call home in Beverly Hills. At first glance, the estate is definitely grand and I can see why castmates would throw shade, but maybe they're just jealous. The home is fronted with a white exterior decked out with a massive columns and an iron gate. However, it's right on the street and certainly attracts attention. Located in the heart of Beverly Hills, Jasmine and her hubby listed the mansion last year for about $9.5 million, but there are no reports that the place sold yet. Parceled land spans just under a quarter of an acre and is situated right outside the highly sought after Beverly Park Enclave, which is much loved by A-listers and wealthy folk alike. Castmate Dr. Amani Walker has also claimed that Jasmine's mansion looks like a drug dealer's house, but either way, the Johnsons have been enjoying the over-the-top home. According to records, Dr. Johnson purchased the estate almost five years ago for about $6 million. Just when you thought a nearly 10,000 square foot mansion was enough, the couple also boasts their fleet of Rolls Royces on the driveway as a bonus. Once you get past the cars, eight towering columns, and the elaborate roof details at the front of the abode, inside there are seven bedrooms and 10 baths over three luxe floors. The mansion is dripping in opulence and is just one of those homes that screams, I'm rich, with sparkling marble floors and countless crystal chandeliers that are sure to blind you. The extra grand foyer has not one but two chandeliers, a winding staircase, second level gallery, and double height ceiling with touches of red on the carpet and curtains. I'm sure this space has served well for some of Jasmine's social media photo shoots. The wealthy vibes carry on to a formal living room with carved stone fireplace, white furnishings, glass doors to outside, and a large flat screen TV. The nearby dining room has an even larger flat screen TV, just so Jasmine never misses an episode of Married to Medicine. And this space has bold red walls and curtains, as well as enough space to host a proper dinner party. A smaller bonus room on the main level hosts a beautiful piano and another chandelier but it looks like it's an extra space where the couple just put some filler furnishing. At least Jasmine's kitchen looks like it's more functional. While it's fresh and outfitted with expensive appliances, including double stainless fridges, double ovens, and more, it's less stuffy than the other common rooms. The Johnsons can enjoy a more intimate family meal here at the casual dining table too. The other spacious family room has a bit more of a modern vibe, but still boasts a fireplace and flat screen TV as you might expect. All of the bedrooms in this mansion are 
ensuite with plenty of room. However, Jasmine and her husband have the best room of all. The master retreat has a TV and separate sitting area with French doors to a private balcony, while the bathroom design is back to that over the top opulence. It's a bit much for me if we're being honest, covered in gold marble and more gold plated fixtures. Elsewhere in Jasmine's mansion, there are other fancy features like a marble floored formal ballroom, perfect for entertaining, an elevator, and a home gym and sauna since we know the Johnsons have a love for fitness and exercise. Out back, the resort style yard is mostly stone terracing but has plenty of palms and plants surrounding the pool and spa with waterfall feature. Well, I can't say no to a beautiful pool and this one is extra nice. I think the grounds are my favorite part of Jasmine's mansion. According to property records, Jasmine and her man also own another home above the Sunset Strip which they purchased about two years ago for $3.85 million. After a huge overhaul, the couple flipped it back on the market in 2019 for almost $6 million, but it didn't sell. In fact, on Married to Medicine LA, several of the women from the Atlanta version of the series came to town and stayed at this property, which Jasmine more recently claimed was an investment home. It was listed for sale again at $5.2 million, then the price was chopped, and most recently, the couple took it off the market in 2020 and still own it. So let's take a look. The multi-level contemporary abode boasts unreal city views of LA and spans 4,800 square feet of space inside with four bedrooms and five bathrooms. While Jasmine's other mansion has been a controversial topic, it seems this modern abode was much loved. When the ladies from the Atlanta series headed straight from the airport to stay here on the May 3rd, 2020 episode, they were blown away by the gorgeous home. The house, located in the Hollywood Hills, has a simple exterior unlike her other mansion, with shades of gray and white. Jasmine's reality star guests were immediately impressed by the abode when Toya asked, why aren't you living here? This is beautiful. She clearly loved the views from the pool area. Jasmine explained that the four story home is an investment property and had said earlier in the episode that it's a big money maker for her business. Walking in, there's a bit of an open layout with all white walls for a clean look and black marble underfoot, which you'll see is a theme in Jasmine's house. There's a seating area once you enter the abode with matching red chairs and an elegant staircase. The Hollywood home has an amazing main living Living room that may just be my fave spot in the interior. Here, there are floor to ceiling walls of glass opening right up to the amazing pool, which no doubt looks great during day and nighttime. I gotta say, nighttime looks even cooler since you can see the sparkling city lights. The living room has plenty of seating for all of the reality stars to hang out with a white sectional couch as well as a built-in modern fireplace and TV overhead. The other side of the room offers a dining table with plush gray chairs. The sprawling master bedroom is impressive and no doubt caught the ladies' attention with the black marble wall and fireplace, which matches the rest of the home. It's totally chic and modern, while another guest room had neutral accents and white decor. At least two of the five bathrooms were decked out in sparkling marble and glass, and one with wall of black marble was super notable because of the mirror. They weren't your average, they were equipped with touch switch lighting and it also looks like this upscale bathroom had a TV. Damn, my counters just have products all over. Certainly no fancy mirrors and definitely no TV. And is it just me or do the Johnsons really love having TVs all over their home? Elsewhere in the abode, Jasmine has her wine collection built into the walls which looks to be super organized. Now the pool area, Jasmine's house in the hills is a feature of its own. The views back here are also a sight to see. You can take in unobstructed views of all of LA by the looks of it, and out back, there's also a seating area with fire pit. The infinity pool with built-in spa is just steps from the main living room and as you might expect, is lit up at night for the full effect. While the cocktail party that Jasmine hosted here with other guests like Amani Walker, Kendra Segura, and more took a dramatic turn in the episode, one thing everyone agreed on was how beautiful this home was. With the blue pool, countless luxury bathrooms and chic bedrooms, it's not hard to understand why. After checking out the homes of Married to Medicine star Jasmine Johnson, I think that about wraps up this house tour. We saw the lavish, over the top main mansion the Johnsons live in, which castmates often critique, as well as the couple's second property in the Hollywood Hills. After checking out the Grand Beverly Hills mega mansion and the more modern home above the Sunset Strip, did you guys have a favorite? While Jasmine's opulent main mansion is more than double the size of the other place, I don't think bigger is always better, and in this case, I prefer the Hollywood house. The first mansion is a bit too posh for me, not my taste. I think we can agree that both of those homes had beautiful pools though. The second one was the nicest in my opinion because not only was it an infinity pool, but those views. 
Would you guys rather have the Hollywood home even though it's smaller or that grand white mansion? Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Jasmine's properties down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.